Welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. So we are live. We're going to be on Twitch. You guys will probably see the chat. And we're going to continue our career adventure. Because it's the greatest adventure. I'm just kidding. Um, so I'm going to take the truck. And we're going to get another job. So let's go ahead and get inside the truck. There we go. Once again, I hope that they do eventually support Track IR. Not that this is bad, but it's nice to be able to look around with this without without having to use this. I wonder if I can. No. Anyway, um, so yeah, let's get the truck started. And there should be some jobs here. So I'm not sure what that yellow thing is. Let's go take a look. Stalled. There's a crate there, but I don't know what that yellow circle is for. Oh, that's the truck that we can load with. So, <clears throat> hello, TR Summers. Well, we're trying a new game today that I got early access to thanks to the developer. Though I believe it's released. Give me one second, real quick, for the YouTubers. Hold on. We're basically playing the full release. Um, and the beta version is still out there. I don't know. I don't know if today's the day that they're releasing it. They didn't really say in the email. They just, they just gave me an embargo date of today. So maybe it's coming in like next week or something that it'll be available. But this is not ATS. This is a much smaller scale game, but still a lot of fun. Um, what do we got here? We got cargo. We'll take this one here. Um, and you are. It's this is an expediter game. You have several different types of. Uh, vehicles you start with pickup trucks and uh, small like box vans the very euro stuff and uh, anyway so this is basically a first look oh you gotta start the engine on this it's got a lot of controls like ATS uh, in fact I'm, I'm using all of my I've got my gearbox my clutch my steering wheel actually we want to back up and get the other side of this and it supports the SciTech side panel, so there's a lot of controller support, which is cool. I say my only complaint is that the game is pretty small. Um, there's not a ton of content. So that's that's a little bit disappointing, but it's got 30 trucks and vans and pickup trucks. There's actually pickup trucks in this and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's a manual transmission forklift. The only thing I haven't figured out is how to turn the beacon on. Oh well. You guys know me and my beacons. My, 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 my beacons. Hello, Anthony. But having driven in Europe before, uh, this game does really have a Euro feel. Uh, and it does kind of feel like America or Euro Truck Simulator a lot. There you go. Well, you can. You, you, this is the continuation of that video, so you'll be able to go back in time and see a prequel, if you will. <laughs> oh wait, this is reverse. There we go. No spoilers. There we go. And see, it auto it auto puts them on there like that, so that's nice. Yep, and they're for real. I guess they do have them in Europe. Somebody was, uh, I forget where I was reading about it, but somebody was like, actually, I do. You know, I've driven manual transmission forklifts before, so they have a clutch. <laughs> I guess some of the older ones do, and some of the European ones do. You know, if you're from Europe and everything is manual transmission, it's no big deal. So you get, you know, what's if your car is a manual, it doesn't really affect you when the forklift is. But to me, it's kind of a pain to have to because you do a lot of starting and stopping. I can't imagine that the clutches don't burn out quick, but oops, wrong way. Uh, it is going to be a multiplayer game. Actually, it is multiplayer. And I will be giving away some copies here during the stream. So I'd say at about, uh, what time is it now? Well, 2.30. At 3 o'clock, I'll give away the first copy. And then again at uh, 4 o'clock, I'll give away the second one. Um, and if you guys want to join, you can. So. Right? <laughs> 
Yeah, how many gears do you need? Well, this one has two. Has three gears. So suppose if you're if you're flying through a warehouse, that third gear is what you need. There we go. And now we're in the truck cuz we're done. Camera view is pretty good. It doesn't once again it does not support track IR, but it does support all the controllers, which is nice. So now we need to head to our destination. So this is my second truck. I started with a little box van. Plaid. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, 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 sorry. All the European uh, hot hatches. That's what I was talking about when I tell you guys they have cooler cars over there. Like, everything's a hot hatch over there. It's got these tiny little cars that would not be legal on American roads. The uh, on-ramps are a little tight. I think they could be worked a little bit to make them a little bit longer. A little more realistic, because <laughs> right now, yikes. Um, yeah. So anyway, hey, what's up, Twisted Diesel? Yeah, it's not a bad little truck. Oh, so this is a Ford. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's right. Now I recognize, like, I'm, I know I've seen that dashboard before. Now it makes sense. It's a Ford. like the bridge though it's kind of cool it's like the european version of the golden gate bridge that's right <laughs> i'll show once we get to the destination i'll show you guys the garage the vehicles that are available we'll go through it kind of uh quickly People that were watching on YouTube have already seen it, so I'll pause the YouTube video. Yeah, that's a good point. It probably is a transit van. Yep. Like the same interior as the transit van. Whoa. And we're going to be turning into the city here. There's a Dodge Ram pickup. I think there's more pickup trucks in here than there really are in Europe. People just don't have pickups, though. Maybe in, maybe in Germany they do? I don't know. I know in, in I remember with, I was with Emily and we saw them and she was like, oh, like when she saw the pickup truck, she's like, it's a pickup truck. <laughs> uh, yes, I am using a steering wheel. It supports my steering wheel. My SciTech side panel is where all my lights and buttons and wipers and stuff are and then uh i'm also using my shifter so it supports all of it it's got a full stick shift clutch simulation so it's pretty cool <laughs> i know i tried to wait for almost an hour but i was like well i need to get streaming because the baby went to sleep so you gotta stream while the sun shines right The scenery is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, the one thing that I do wish is that I, I wish it had more, um, more map. Like if we could take this game and put it on the ETS2 map, I would, I'd be in, almost in heaven. Like this would be really cool to have like these expediter vans and stuff in ETS. Cause there's a lot of, you know, smaller trucks that in Europe that do that kind of stuff. And ah, Mike is cleaning his PC. There you go. <laughs> the stream is better with the baby noises. Yeah, she she needed to go to sleep, though. She was, like, ready to pass out. She was getting cranky, so those kind of noises aren't good because she would have been like, nah, nah. I think he's actually, if I'm not mistaken, you're actually physically cleaning the PC, aren't you? All right. Yeah, Dusty.
Hey, what's up, Angela? Angelina. Oh my god, I did it again. I'm just gonna call you Ange. <laughs> what, the dust bunnies are not so good? There you go. <laughs> And my, your name is whatever Arthur calls you. Like when I call B Whitey E B White. And for some reason, I used to call Javius Javius Rex, but I like that, so it sticks. <laughs> hey, what's up, Tucson Rob? Things are going great, my friend. So I would tie this somewhere between ETS-2 and, like, Construction Simulator. The handling is a little bit, like, floppy, but I don't mind it. And it's... The driving is definitely the main focus of the game. Um, the logistics part is kind of a side thing, so... Mostly just loading the truck, that's the logistics portion. But like I said, it is going to be multiplayer, so if you can imagine having 15 of your friends on here, it'd be kind of fun. Whether you convoy or whether you guys just all, like, run around and see each other as you go. Oh, Angel, that would be, that's true. Yep. Ah! I'm busy reading the comments. I'm going to crash. Uh, not that I have noticed. Uh, actually, that's not true, Flying Brito. Yes, it does. Now that I say that. Like, you, you, you will notice it especially when backing, because, like, trying to park a trailer on grass going uphill is really difficult, and I kept stalling. Look at that. Whoa. I don't think I've seen this view before. Wow. I like being up in the mountains. This is... That part I do like. It's a lot of back roads and stuff, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, Tucson, I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> Actually, my son lives in Akron. We'll have to get coffee sometime, dude. Let me know when you're here, and we'll definitely hook up, because that's 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 pretty... Oh, that's where I was supposed to go. Oh, whoa. Oh, God, I gotta get off the road. There's, look at all these cars behind me. Do you see all that? Yeah, I saw that. Plus, they're adding... Kansas is coming out, so... Uh, anyway, uh, the, it snowed last night for the first time. We have snow on the ground. It's actually kind of late. Usually we get snow earlier than this. But uh, today it was late. So we usually have at least one big snow before Thanksgiving. And this was not a big snow for us. Now, parts of Ohio got, like, coated. But we just got, like, a little sprinkling dust. And then it, it stopped. There we go. Yeah, that's Europe for you. There, that's what they have. A lot of Fiats and Punt, like, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Renault. They're all tiny. Hey, what's up, Patchwork? All right, so let's see what jobs they have for us here. And I did stall, by the way. <laughs> so let's grab another load. <laughs> Wrapped in the blankie. We'll do a trailer load. Oh, we'll stop at the garage, though, first. So hang on a second here. We're going to pause. Oh, yeah, this is, I guess this is where we were. Um, I gotta find a job, so. There we go. Let's go ahead and start the engine. Turn the lights on. Find our next job. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is, we're somewhere else now. That's weird. I don't know where they started us, but. Yeah. German license plates. It's great. Uh, we're going to turn to the right. Hopefully there's a job just around the corner here. Yes, it does, JWA and shifter. So I'm using my six-speed shifter right now. I don't know how many gears the trucks have, but uh, it has up to six speeds in these smaller trucks. So. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, Jay. So let's see here. There's a construction job up here, it looks like. Right, 12 usually, right. All right. Let's see what they got for us here. Uh, okay, so there are some jobs available. 
Here we're taking these. You can take these uh, skid steers. Got like a maintenance trailer, a little maintenance trailer. There's no cargo that they need us to move, but um, let's see. We'll grab, I'll grab this one. That's the highest paying one, it looks like. And these are simple. All you have to do is drive the little vehicle onto the trailer to start. And then you attach to the trailer. I think in real life, I would rather attach the vehicle to the trailer and then load this. <laughs> they let you borrow the trailers. You don't buy them. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> oh, it's stalled. <laughs> oh, that did it. <laughs> All right, now I gotta find the trailer. Oh, there it is over there. All right, so let's go ahead and start this up. Yeah, you get to drive it a little roughly too, if I might say so myself. Ram it on there. So I will be giving away some copies here. Uh, in about 15 minutes, we'll give away the first copy. And then again, in about 40, 30, 40 minutes, I'll give away the second copy. And they may give us more, so as the week goes by, I might be able to get you more. Um, but yeah, so if you guys are watching, make sure to stay tuned. Uh, so you can turn mirrors on just like ATS, ETS, which I do when I'm backing. I'll burn out my clutch here. I just stalled. So yes, the game is available to play. I don't know if the full release version is out yet. That's what this is. But I think it's the same thing, honestly. And we're going to attach the trailer. So she's attached. I'm going to turn the mirrors off. Yep, and it has the backup cam. Isn't that cool? So we're going to go ahead and get this delivered. Now, the sad thing is the GPS isn't telling me where I need to go. That's a bit of a problem. There we go. Now it did. It just popped alive. It popped alive. Yep. It's a, well, it's not like a super short trailer, though, but short enough that we can manage it with this little tiny truck. Oops. I have to grab my mouse, which is over my... Uh, Shoulder. No, I didn't buy any. I didn't. I had enough money to buy the truck right away, so I didn't bother with the cars. But I mean, like, if you're doing a, this kind of business, why would you buy a car, right? But if you wanted to, you could. I guess people do it. Ah! Ow! <laughs> Man, he came out of nowhere. I mean, that would have been my fault. Well, that sucks. How much damage did he do? Oh, he wrecked my truck. All right, back it up. <laughs> yeah, actual damage. I know, something that American truck does not do or Euro truck doesn't do. Uh, all right, we'll try that again. I'm probably going to get hit on the other side now. That's right, because they're not actual brands. Um, they can show damage. Yep, that sucks. That got we get hit hard, and it's a fragile cargo too. So, yeah, that guy came out of nowhere, man. Because I looked and there wasn't anybody there, and I looked, he came. Full. That, that's the only that that is the only problem with the game. They don't there there is. Traffic is difficult, and I have it turned down a, a bit, so. All right, can you not, like, push your van against my truck so I can actually move? 
<sighs> okay, there we go. Oh, we've caused a major traffic jam. Yeah, you gotta pay attention to traffic. It got all squished. Now, oh look, it's covering my GPS, the, the crossbar. I think in real life, that would probably be totaled because the frame got bent. <laughs> so now we're gonna have to get the truck fixed. I wonder how much that'll cost. I've never done that before. Right? Yeah, it's not... A, I don't mind it, but it is kind of a weird place for GPS, yeah. So far, no. The handling is okay on the truck, which, of course, in real life, if you got hit there, it would really mess up the handling because it's got pushed in where the wheel is. Oh, you're right. The wheel is off center. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. You can do it. God, I feel like I'm driving Simone's mom's car. Her old uh, Suzuki was all beat up and it was it was having issues. Well, let's pull into the gas station here and get the truck looked at. I don't think there's any speed on this delivery, so. I don't know how to make the mechanic shop work. Is it? Oh, there they go. They fixed it. Okay. Uh, how much did that cost me? Let's see. Uh, it doesn't look like it cost much. Maybe not anything. I don't know. That's weird. Well, that was okay, though. They fixed it. <laughs> It'll be, yeah, that'll buff out. <laughs> Insurance coverage, right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it's my company, though. That's... <laughs> I do like the way the truck bounces over the road. Like it does feel like driving a truck a little bit, or actually a lot of it. Yeah. Now the weird thing though, is that it doesn't, uh, the other weird thing about the game is that we do not have, um, you can't sell your vehicle. So once you buy a vehicle, it's yours. Um, so I guess maybe the goal of the game is to buy all the vehicles and then you'll have all 30 of them. That could be your goal is to, hey, I want to own everything. Now. Gotta get all them poke, the pokey cars. Collect them all. <laughs> oh, Lord. Sailing, take me away. So we head back over the bridge. We're going. I think we're heading south now. To other island. It's supposed to be somewhere in Germany, but it's not specifically any city. It's kind of a generic German scenery map. Yeah. Uh, and it does kind of feel like that. You know, mountains and then rivers and then 
cities. There's actually a couple cities on the map. Um, and they're all within... Each city's about five minutes apart. So... You leave a city and then you come back later to the same city. That guy had some bricks. Looks like we're going to exit here. Hey, all right, we'll see you, Twisted. It's kind of a cool exit. The lake shore there. Yeah, the whole sea, that was pretty funny, Micah. I, I, literally, I looked down and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> that looks like, well, looks familiar. I'm glad we were able to get the truck fixed. I wonder how much damage it did to the trailer. Come on, baby. 20 bucks, there you go. <gasps> oh, by the way, if you don't clutch, that's what happens. Crunch. The gears get crunchy. I'm supposed to exit. <laughs> God. Maybe? Yeah. Yes, I was supposed to exit. Ah! I can't stop. Okay. Some weight behind that. There we go. I'm delivering T bones. <laughs> Thank goodness we did not. Yeah, no, there's no track IR support, unfortunately. And that that would help a lot, honestly. This game would be a lot, I don't want to say easier, but it would make it a lot more realistic-ish if we had that. So, right, you can see the automatic on the, on the dashboard there, but no, I'm driving stick. ETS does that also. Oh no, I gotta back this in? Ugh, ugh. Ugh, 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 ugh. This is a nightmare. I hate backing these in. Alright. Nope, other way. It's two axles. <laughs> and I stalled. <sighs> they really do not want to uh, go backwards. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, two axles together. True. True that. Hey, there's a ship going by. That's cool. It's the little details. It's like Ireland. Nope. I turned the wrong way. Nope. Now I'm turning the right way, but it's too late. Yeah, it's not bad. It's actually a pretty good game. It is hard to back up, though. That's the only... Because I suck at it. There we go. Come on, other way. It goes from being right so quickly to being wrong that it's 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 uh it's difficult. Difficult to navigate. It's like Ta-da! Woof! Uh, yeah, I know, isn't that cool, Dipmeister? <laughs> Alright. It didn't the cargo didn't take any damage. That's good news. And we got another job right here, so let's take it. There you go, Angel. <laughs> I 
Well, thanks, Angel. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get the next job. All right, so we have cart delivery. We have this kind of thing. Let's why don't we take one of these. I haven't done well. No, those are that's crappy pay. I want. It's got to be at least five thousand. Oh, eight thousand dollars. Let's do that one. That's gonna be a long trip, but once that's done, we'll do our first giveaway. All right, hey Angela. It's too late. It's too late. Too late for love. <laughs> yeah, this one had a lot of jobs to pick from. Alrighty, lights on. Is my fuel that low? Um. My fuel light's on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Too early to be yawning. Uh, it's actually the perfect time for nappies. Yeah, it looked like it was full, but I guess they gave me the truck with almost no fuel, so. That was a bad job. <laughs> so let's try that again. See? So na I was right on cue with the nap. Right on track. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oops, I stalled. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to hopefully be able to get to a fuel station. Attach the trailer. Okay, there we go. And let's get out of here. Let's find a fuel station. Thankfully, there's one, like, right across the street, so. Right. Hey, Luca, how's it going? We're gonna get ah! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I could feel it in my bones. Uh. <laughs> I'm fine. I don't know. I was just in an accident. <laughs> I think I'm okay. You're gonna wait. <laughs> I got love tapped by a Prius driver. <laughs> he tried to stop. Maybe he shouldn't go like 300 miles an hour through town. It's because I can't see what's coming, Jay. I, I need my track IR to be honest with you. That makes a big difference. Okay, so fuel, refuel, T. All right, here we go. Yeah, people were saying that they just turned the AI off. I was reading comments about people that have been playing it for a while. Because they're so fast and so aggressive. Okay, so we should be full now. Yeah, our fuel tank is full. Yeah, I'm bad with the mouse, though, and I'm lazy. It takes so long to look around with the mouse. Okay, so we're going to go this way. Yes, so it's, so I'm I'm assuming that it 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 comes out Zlanka, is that correct? Not Zilanka, but Zilanka. Like here is Zilanka. There we go. That's a good point, Jay. Uh, yes, it does. That's not. It doesn't do anything for me, though. That's right. 
Oh, there you go, Jay. I'm going a little fast through town here. Picking up the freeway, we're gonna end up in the ocean. I had the right away, you jerk. <laughs> right? <laughs> right to the water, no guardrail. Not exactly. <laughs> Like Zalanka or Zalanka. You could, yeah. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Okay, we're going the right way. Some of the roads are pretty bumpy and curvy. <laughs> Sri Lanka. So does it have like a different, like a Sri Lanka or something like that? I'm gonna have to look it up. Uh, we're going straight here through the interchange. So my one complaint is that the steering is kind of touchy. Um. Well, with with the I in there, that's why I say that. It's Z-I-E, I think. So in America, that would be Zai. Or Zai. Um, E-I and I-E. I-E is how we would have. You don't usually have I-E, but... Or E-I, I mean. Yeah, pretty much Shewa. So with that, when you put an I and an E together like that, it's, it's pronounced I, though I guess it could be pronounced E also because like, like Elfie is I E and it's Elf E. So it depends on where it is in the word too. Right. <laughs> I before E except after C. What's up, boy? Come on, baby. Ugh. We're stalling. Come on. I got I'm off. I got pulled off the road. Uh oh. Right. Exactly. I somehow I got off road a little bit, and ah, there we go. A lot of petrol, right? There we go. Hello, Spud Boy. Oh, 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 what are you? Ugh. Why don't you just stop in the middle of the intersection, dork? Uh. This has been the most crashy. Fifth, they have a new crunch. I can't get around him. He's in the way. I have to drive through the center. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> All my skills with a Z. Yeah, I also should slow down a little bit though, Jay. Well, part, part of it's my fault because I'm flying up the map. And that leads to crashes. Quashes and stuff. I'm driving a, an expediter truck. By the way, hello, headshot clock. That's true. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to change my camera. There we go. So it's a work truck. Is it dinged up? No, it's not too bad. Huh. <laughs> 
I'm almost as good at this as I am at uh, Forza. Man, we haven't played Forza in a while. I need to do that. Monday nights have been hard. I've really not been, like, Mon I get to Monday and I'm like, I need to stream. And I'm like, nah. So, Tuesday it is. I know it does. It's a Ford Sprinter van or whatever. Transit van. It's based on that. So this is supposed to be Germany. It some kind of compressor, Jaywa. Looks like a um, maybe or like an electric electric box, like where they they hook it up and run it, and then it generates electricity like a generator. So <laughs> uh, doubtful. Nighttime streams are are like I said. I, I try to do them if I can, but I can't always do them. It depends on what time my wifey gets home. That sounds familiar. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, Wednesday night's going to be farm sim night, so we, I'm going to try to do farm sim Wednesday. I forgot to do my turn signals there. You're welcome to join us. I'm excited to see how much money we have when we're done with this. I don't think we'll have enough for a big truck, but gosh, I keep it driving off the road. Oh, there's the ship that we saw. <laughs> yeah, there you go, big tall man. I like this area. I like these like where you have to climb up the hills. Yes, you basically start with the, you. You, I'll show you again. It's a. Um, this game is more about expediters. It does have a couple trucks in it, um, but it has the the categories are more this size truck. So you have cargo vans. You have like this. You have a larger semi semi truck based cargo van. Kind of like what we would have is like the Brigadier or. Um, the Kodiak, like those kind of trucks. So like a larger, larger, uh, so less than truckload trucks. Um, whereas a ATS is, I mean, the comparison is hard because ATS is way, way bigger. Um, this is, you know, there's no company management in this. It is multiplayer though. But you're, there are no companies, so you're you're you can own a bunch of trucks, but you're the only person that drives them, um, and it's mostly trailering stuff. So it's not there's not a I don't know it is a much smaller game than ETS ATS. So yeah, there I don't think they're going for that. I think they're trying to just make it like one thing I do like about this game. I wish that we had these things in ATS. Like this is a good way to start. It'd be cool to have like expedition vans and and um, using those for hauling and then moving into larger freight vans and then eventually moving into the semi trucks. Shahi did use this. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm interested to see what they do. I'm not... I think it'll be a good game, but we'll see. I don't know how they're going to top SnowRunner. Because it looks like it's the same trucks and stuff, and I'm kind of like, uh... Oh, yeah, that's true. Yep. Ah! <laughs> no, this game takes place in, in Germany. Notice all the pickup trucks, because that's very German. And the donut shop. 
But no, it actually is supposed to be Germany, so. Hence all the old fashioned buildings. Yeah, Deutsch. Nein, Deutschland! Oh, we do. We have a, we have a bunch of them around us, but it's more of a a big city or European. It's it's not. Uh, most of America does not know how to use traffic circles. <laughs> they do help. I, I honestly, we have a couple places where I wish they would put more in. Um, but people always complain about them. Like, no, no traffic circles, and it's like, no, you. You don't understand the places where the traffic gets all backed up with four-way stops. It'll fix all that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it should be Deutsch, Deutschland or Deutschland. Yeah, that is one point. This game is included on Xbox. Uh, PlayStation and Switch. So, so yeah, yes, it is. It's going to be all consoles. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, so this is some kind of generator, Jerry. Or it could be a sprayer, like a water sprayer. But it looks like a generator to me. No, nope, wrong way. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Ah, uh, dang it. I, I did the wrong way again. This trailer with the single axle is really tricky. What's up, Bowtie? Mr. Hunter, hang on, my my uh, microphone is tangled in the steering wheel. Party party pooper. Speaking of giveaways, we're going to be doing a giveaway in a second here. So let me get parked here, and then we'll half an hour once I get this freaking trailer parked. Yeah, it's because it's a it's a Ford Sprinter Sprinter van or Sprinter truck. Yeah, me either. That's what I'm saying. Like it would be it would be cool to have some kind of small truck DLC for ETS ATS. Shiitake mushrooms. Okay, come on, get this thing straight, and then we stall. Yeah, this is where I really struggle. This is not easy to do. Because the trailer turns very quickly. And I know small trailers do have, they do turn quick. I have a trailer for my tractor and it goes pretty fast, but. Oh, dang it. I suck at this. Mm. Okay, keep it. There we go. There we go. Right there. Right there. We're getting there. Come on, a little further. Oh, God dang it. Quit stalling. It's probably close enough right there. <laughs> oh, we damaged rate fuel. Oh, we, okay. So we, we had to play fuel. No cargo damage. That's funny. Okay. Well, 7,000 bucks. That's not bad. Yeah, you don't make a lot of income, that's true. So, let's go ahead and take a look at giving away. So, we're going to pause the, the video. So, once again, congratulations to your summers for your copy, your your, sli your slick win. 
first come first server <laughs> so we just need to find somewhere to go to get another job yeah I forgot about Ford and the blue interior lights I, li I actually like that I, I like blue so my pleasure man I can't wait till we get to the point where all cars have like selectable light systems for the like where you can choose the, the interior light colors I don't know why we don't have that as a standard yet like all cars should be able to choose colors for their heads up displays and stuff I'm gonna try to grab a different kind of uh, job here. We've got we've done a bunch of construction jobs. I'm gonna see if there's anything else out there. I'd like to expedite some boxes if I can. You are welcome, TR Summers. And I think it's a game that you'll enjoy. Like I said, it's not a super in-depth game, but you'll it's a fun. You get in the mood. I actually found myself. It's funny because I drove for a bit and. And then yesterday, I all of a sudden I felt myself in the mood to play this game. I'm like, I want to. I actually want to drive like a box man and it's fun especially because of the support of the clutch and all that stuff it's pretty cool i do dim my dashboard lights so <laughs> yeah i know what could, what else could possibly be crazy that my my dream guitar had blue flowers on it <laughs> when i saw it i was like ooh. Yeah, I reduced mine by about 20%, Jay. Oh, wow. It just went to one lane like... Whir. Okay, so this... I think... Yeah, here's the entry. Oh! There's a big truck back there. So we're going to load some boxes on here and get this delivered somewhere. Hope we can find a nice, decent-sized trip. All right. So, what do we got? That'll work. What else do we have? Anything else that's... Nope, they're all trailers. So, we're going to take this one. 6900 bucks. We're going to go back down south. Probably across that big bridge again. I'm not... It looks like... I think the big bridge is in this area. Um, but maybe not. I could be wrong. So, let's go ahead and get into the forklift. Lift truck, whatever you want to call it. We had this discussion the other night. <laughs> they used to call them lift trucks. That's kind of a, a passe thing now, though. People call them forklifts always. And if you say lift truck, they look at you sideways like, whoa, what's a lift truck? She does, Jaywa. I wish we made more money, We're, but we will. She actually got a really good contact. So we took Alfie to the vets yesterday. You know, he ran away, right? And he got taken to the SPCA, and they got mad at us because he had uh, he has uh, he's got a skin condition, which he's always had, and they're like, he needs to see a vet. And we're like, all right. So we took him to the vets. I mean, they're, they're right, but it's like the, the SPCA likes to do stuff like that, like kind of tell you what you have to do. So we're like, um, yeah, we'll take him to the vets. And so we took him to the vets and, you know, $400 later. But the good news is the vet that looked at Elfie has horses. And she was like, wait, you got a barn? And my wife was like, yeah. And she's like, okay, well, I'll tell you what. She's like, I've been looking for a new place to put my horses because I don't like the barn that I'm at. Uh, do you mind if I come out this afternoon and look? And my wife was like, yeah, that's great. So the vet came out and she loved it. And she's like, yeah, I'm going to move my horse here. I'll, I'm coming next week. So the awesome part is she's a vet and she knows everybody and they have all, you know, everybody has horses. And so she's going to recommend my wife's barn to people, which is great. Like that is, so if my wife has an issue, like finding borders, she'll just be like, oh, I can tell these people to come over. So yeah, big, that's a big turn of events for her. So it's great. Exactly. You scratch my back. Plus it'll bring the vet work too. So, and my wife will get discounts on her vet work. So And we also scheduled poor Alfie. No more puppies. <laughs> He's going to the vets. <laughs> I I know. I'm, I'm I'm I feel I'm very glad. Like that's it's a. a I'm I'm proud of Simone. She really has worked hard 
and gone through a lot. There's a lot of stress with that because you have, you know, you're dealing with people, some of them very spoiled people, uh, millennials, that can't understand why you're upset when they don't pay. And it's like those, those are the things she's been dealing with. And so it's paid off, though, for her, and I'm glad. Because now if we have a bad customer, she can just go, see you later. <laughs> Uh, nine altogether, Jay. We got, we sold six of them and kept three, right? Yeah, Percy, Molly, and Luna. And the the people have been super happy with them. Those are the, cock, the Cocker Nations that we had there. Half Dalmatian, half Cocker Spaniel. And uh, so, because they're Alfie and Hermione's puppies. And they're great dogs. They're actually... And it's funny because they are, well, she's, we don't want the breeding of these two spe the, these two uh, breeds. We want Dalmatians because Dalmatians, if they're purebred and they're well-bred, they're, they're pretty valuable. So, um, you know, right now the market's terrible for dogs though. So uh, hopefully in a couple of years, the economy will straighten out and, you know, the dog market will start picking up again. It was really hot because of COVID, but... Uh, now everybody's got puppies, and so nobody's buying puppies. And so it's like we're not going to breed any right now, but we would like to eventually breed Bella, and um, and uh, we have a Dalmatian male named Elvis. Um, so, yeah, we would like to get Dalmatian puppies. It is funny. I don't know. It, uh, how many of you here have had actual experience with a real, like, well-bred Dalmatian. I don't know. Not many people have, I don't think. You know, there's crappy Dalmatians out there, like they're not well-bred, but like an actual, like, show-quality Dalmatian. Um, if you have, you'll know why Cruella de Vil wanted their coats. Um, yeah, they, she, they're, first of all, they're super sweet. Uh, and secondly, they are so so soft they're so soft I, I i cannot tell you like the fur it is like it's like petting a chinchilla like a pillow i don't know how to explain it but they are just the softest dogs they're so like nice to touch like and that's that's why she <laughs> she that's why she um cruella deville wanted to turn the puppies into coats because they, they actually make like a good fur coat terrible i would never make a coat out of dalmatians but um but they have they are very very soft and so uh both bella and albus have that coat hermione's really weird she has a more oily coat and she feels prickly when you pet her so yeah she's also psycho correct yeah but until until we had um so we have one that's not well bred both from the same breeder, but she's closer to her uh, original ancestry, which is um, German short hair pointer. And um, she tends to be, I don't want to say she's bitey because she never puts her teeth on you, but she will peck you with her nose. Like she wants you to, if she wants you to pet her, she'll kind of like put her teeth against your hand, but she won't open her mouth, but, but she just kind of like tooths you because she wants you to pay attention to her. Um, the other two, though, are not at all. Yeah, they don't bite at all. So, um, yeah, so and I wouldn't even consider that bitey. That's just mouthy. So, so no, um, we haven't had that. But once again, you have to really watch their temperament. So if they're showbred, they'll be very calm, um, and they'll be like, you know, they'll have that demeanor that's good. But <laughs> what, <laughs> yeah. The the crappy the crappily bred Dalmatians usually are high strung, and you know bitey and stuff like that. So that's that's where they get that reputation. But if they're well bred, they will not be like that. So right, yes, and that's she, Hermione has got that in her. She is she even kind of looks like a German short hair pointer, but with really big spots. But that's how they get Dalmatians. They cross. Um, they cross a greyhound and a German short hair pointer, and that's how Dalmatians are, 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 were bred originally. 
There was like one other breed that they would do it with. I can't remember what it was, but. Oh God. <laughs> Welcome to Europe. <laughs> that was not close at all. I will say the trucks do handle differently when they're pulling trailers. Uh, it's a lot easier to drive when there's no trailer attached. Gearing down here to get up the hill. Oops. <laughs> I tried to speed shift. <laughs> I can do it in real life, but not here. They don't let you do it. <laughs> Italian drivers. I didn't realize are they really bad. I don't. I don't know about Italian drivers. I guess I, I, they do have a rep, don't they? Yeah, fifth wheeler. Correct. Yeah. Like a, a regular semi truck is better for that kind of stuff. All right, off we go on the freeway. I've had one or two almost money shifts in real life, but I don't ever like drop my clutch or anything like that. Like, you know, people like rev the motor up and then drop the clutch. I don't. I don't do that in my car, but sometimes I've misshifted and been like, oh, oops. <laughs> What's up, fighting pie? Double clutch, yeah. Ah, the Euro Tunnel, our favorite. Am I speeding? No. Yeah, maybe. I don't know what the speed limit is here. Oh, and by the way, I have the game set to actual system time. So the sun's starting to go down in real life, and here we are in the game, and the sun's starting to set. So. I think that's pretty cool that they did that. Um, you can also set it to be like 20 minutes of day or just day with no night or just night with no day. So yeah, it, the, what, God, I wish we, I wish we could have this stuff in ETS. Ah! The handling's a little off. I was, I got, I got to do some, some, some changes or adjustments. I think to how it handles. Uh, the road feel in this game is better than ETS, uh, but the roads are more clunky. So, like, the graphics are kind of, like, there's a lot of sharp angles and stuff. This part is cool because it feels real. But then they have, like, these places where the roads are, like, just, like, a straight 45-degree angle. And I'm like, why did they do that? They have so many places where it's done well. Oh, uh, we'll see you, Mr. Enigma. I just saw that. I apologize. Isn't this pretty though? Oh, uh, look at this little the little beachside town. I love that. I've been to places like this in England. It's gorgeous. Oops. I was supposed to turn there. Actually, I've been to places like this in Cleveland. I shifted way too soon. Did I? I don't think so. You always try to keep it around 2000 RPM for fuel usage, unless you need the, the power going uphill. I always shift low. I don't, I try not to lug the engine, but. All right, Anthony, have a good night. Yeah. 
In England, it's tough. That's, it's only England that's like that, though, Jades. The rest of Europe, obviously, is not. It's normal driving like this. But Europe, but England is like, yeah, it's, it's. The, the hard part's not the driving. The hard part's navigating, like, parking lots and stuff like that. That's where I always got screwed up uh, because it was like trying to, you know, it just, it was awkward. Like we'd get to the like I had to take I had to take my 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 mother-in-law broke her foot and we had to take her to the hospital and she um, like I was pulling in and when I went to pull in I went to pull in on the right side because you know when you pull in a parking lot in America you pull in on the right and so you're right that was tough like but the drive there was fine it was just once you get to places it's like oh crap wait a minute which way am I supposed to go in that's where it gets you. All right, so we have some jobs, it looks like, behind us. Um, so we'll go grab one of those. That's a pretty view right there. Ah! There. Sorry. see here probably going to the right yep I probably will yes uh, I don't know about tonight I probably won't but we will stream it again towards the end of the week and try multiplayer or next week we'll have to see I got a pretty full stream schedule but um, I would like to stream again and we could try once I have a couple guys playing it um, I was hoping they were gonna give me more codes I was gonna give uh, uh, Mike a, co a copy so that he can he can join with me to do it, but But yeah, it'd be fun. It'd be fun to have a bunch of people playing it so Oh my gosh, this is really steep Sucking down the gas. Jeez, I thought we'd find something up here, but there's nothing. <laughs> Should have gone the other way. There you go. Yep. I love it. We do multi. We actually Porter. I don't. Know, are you? If you're new to the channel, we do. Uh, we now I haven't done ETS in a while, but we do ATS and we do convoys all the time, and it works pretty well. Ah, okay, I'll try that with Mark's computer fighting pie. Thank you. It's a good tip. So right now we're just free roam driving. I got to find a job. Okay, there. Okay, so yeah, so yes, we do. We do do. Um, uh, convoys occasionally the last couple of weeks we've had a lot of game releases and that probably will continue through Christmas but I will get the ATS streams back up and running or ETS too um, but yeah we do it all the time and it works pretty well um, the only problem is, is it does after about two hours of running the frame rates start to get bad on the host computer it's kind of weird how it does it but other than that, it runs really well. Truckers MP was different. Yeah, that is horrible. Truckers MP was a disaster. I'm talking about the convoy system. I, I like that much better. Oh, that's right. You can't turn right on red in Europe. Oops. Oopsie. I just played by American rules. I was watching, you know, Facebook car accidents as usual. <laughs> And I saw something interesting. Um, I guess the rules have changed. Okay, when I was growing up and we, we got, we went to driver's ed. Okay. Uh, no traffic fines, no. Um, two cars arrive at a stop sign. The first car is turning left and they come to the stop sign and they stop. Um, and the, the, the road that they're crossing has no stop. So you got a stop sign across from you, but the main road does not have a stop. So a guy pulls up turning left. 
Two minutes later, while he's still waiting because there's a lot of traffic, another guy pulls up and he's going straight across the intersection. Who has the right of way? In Ohio, I can tell you that it used to be that the person that was at the stop sign first, yeah, Killian, that's exactly right, has the right of way. But they've changed that now, and I looked it up, and Ohio law now says that the that regardless of who got there first, the person going straight now always has the right of way. And to me, that to me is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Because how would how does that work then when you get to a four way stop and somebody pulls up turning left, and then somebody comes up straight, and then I mean it's, it confuses the whole thing. So it used to be whoever got there first has the right of way. If you get there at the same time, then the driver that's going straight has the right of way. But if the left turner's there first, they've got the right of way as far as I'm concerned. But that's not the law anymore. And I was I was surprised. They're kind of shocked to see that. I'm like, what? So everybody just go at the same time, right? There we go. The solution. All right, so what do we got here? We've got 3,000, 2,000. Yeah. Right, because they think that when I was growing up, I, I definitely remember, as Killian said, the, whoever gets to the stop sign first has the right of way, but that's not the law anymore, I guess, in Ohio at least. So that's super confusing. So what do we want to do? Do we want to, let's see, we're going to take a, um, I'm trying to figure out what I, what I want. Uh, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. <laughs> uh, so once again, after this trip, uh, I'll do another giveaway and then I probably should get going. What's up, Nate? Yeah, new game. This is Truck and Logistics Simulator. It has been in beta for a while. This is the f the full release version. The one thing they didn't tell me in the email, and I can kind of... Let me read this to you. Hang on a second. I'm going to not put this on YouTube, though. So it turns out this is being released on the 30th, so we're two days early. The game is available to play right now. Um, it's in beta, but the full version is coming, and that's what we're playing here um, tonight is the full version, so. Put that down. Yeah, now, see, here's another thing. We don't, we don't have pl uh, intersections with no sign. There are no intersections in the United States, really, with unless it's dirt roads that have no signs it's really rare to have a situation where there's no road signs i know in england in england for sure there's no road signs at a lot of places which there's just a line on the road and that's stop but um yeah right whoever whoever's going straight or to your right yeah that's that's how it is in ohio too the person to the right has the right of way Now that's interesting. So no signs in there. That's weird. Yeah, we here they everybody everywhere you go. I, I don't think I've ever been somewhere where there's no road signs except for England. Correct. Yeah, and that's they're classified as signs, right? So you sh you must know, or you'll crash. Town of four hundred. Well, there you go. Everybody knows. You proceed with prejudice. <laughs> whoever whoever drives the most aggressively has the right of way. All right. How's this for a lift truck tutorial, bow tie? When did we have a when did we have a forklift tutorial? I don't remember this. Yeah, maybe if it's like in case the yeah, in case the lights go out. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be in the United States too, and half the people don't know that either. Um, if you <laughs> King of the Hill style, the largest vehicle goes first. <laughs> if you go to a stop sign or a red light and the light is out, 
it becomes a four-way stop. Yeah, the, they are. I agree, Gordon. Now, it grabs some a little bit. You don't have full control of it, but yeah, it's a bit way better. Um, all right, so let's find our way to the next place. <laughs> I don't ever use auto load. I don't think I ever I don't think I've ever used auto load. Though for the Zoop factory bow tie, uh that is gonna start having we're gonna be using um side loaders it, not into pallets but into the directly into trailer. And then that semi trailer that I'm using is an auto load, so that'll be over with. <laughs> I try not to record too much anymore like that I, I've been getting to the point where if, when I do loading I just I do like a minute or two of loading and then I don't do anymore I just uh, if you've noticed like in zoop 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 I'm like I'm gonna load this truck and then the next thing you know it's already loaded so I'll put like one well, I'll put one on there and then that's it so we're starting to cut back on that yeah <laughs> Yeah, I realize people don't necessarily love watching me load load boxes. <laughs> Boring. She's at the barn all the time. Playing with horses. Yes, that is correct, Jay. Well, because my display is widescreen, so that's that's just how it displays. It displays whatever. You, otherwise, it would be all stretchy looking. Um, a little bit, yeah. Fighting pie. It depends on the series, but yeah, most of it. I try to do it uh, as I'm recording, but if I don't, then I'll cut it in post. My grass is stacking. <laughs> Did you have fun, Bowtie? <laughs> Shoveling the poop? <laughs> That's what her day consists of. Basically, breaking up hay bales, putting grain in bins, filling up water buckets. Um, yeah. And then... Uh, <laughs> yeah in the wind and here it's you know right now it's like like 28 degrees so it's freezing in that freaking barn <laughs> not yet not yet fighting pie we're not doing it yet yeah we had snow today last night was the first snow of the year actually thank you for the sub by the way calif um oh oh what just happened Ow! That guy just ran into me. <laughs> Where's Safe Light? Safe Light repair. Safe Light replace. He totally, he totally, um, what do you call that? Not fishtailed. He, uh, he, he pit maneuvered me. Oops, sorry. <laughs> no problem my friend yeah thankfully no trailer <laughs> uh, I think my lights just came on I'm looking down there at the oh no they're just lit up that's all everything's lit up 30s yeah that's pretty dang cold for Georgia Yep, no, we had our first snow today, and, and it just dusted here. Cleveland actually got a coating, uh, maybe like a, like a half an inch. But it's coming. And my, my car is not looking forward to it with its little sporty tires. 
I know, that's what Simone said too. She's like, I miss summer. I really miss summer. The only reason I don't like winter is because this is when we struggle financially. It's good in the summer because I have a lot of work, but in the winter, work slows way down. And so that's that. That's where I get frustrated because it's like, oh, I know that we're not going to work. Now, I've had a pretty good run this year so far, but it is it is really slowing down now. So, yeah, it's pretty much a, a, a whoa accident. A pickup truck version of the Ford Transit, basically. Mid-20s, yes, and you guys are getting it. It's coming our way, so... There you go, Jay. <laughs> the Arizona weather, right? There you go, Killian. Yep. I know. Yeah, my wife never does. She's pretty bad at socking money away. She's like, oh, we got money. We need to buy this. It's like, no, we don't. Yes, we do. No, we don't. <laughs> But the good news is she's working at the barn now, so that's definitely helping. We actually have some steady income coming in each month, so that's good. <laughs> How did it handle, Patrick? Was it okay in the snow? Yeah, December, January, February are a week. Yep, same here. Oh, yeah, it's, it's bad, huh? <laughs> I would love... I mean, I don't know about... Uh, I don't like humidity, Bowtie. I would have to go somewhere like West where it's not humid. Um, I don't know. What are we talking about? Uh, work, maybe? That's what I was talking about anyway. Slow, slow work in the winter. Things slowing down and snow. <laughs> yeah, Christmas this year. We get we do Christmas in summer. Twenty minutes and stopped. Okay, there you go. I don't mind the snow. I like it. If I don't have anything going on during the day, it's nice. And uh, then I usually try to make a fire or something. Thank you, Vijansk. There you go, Flying Burrito. Yeah, I can't. I can't do that. That's too much. I could go west. But even Ohio gets pretty humid a lot. This year wasn't bad, but... Negative 14. Now, is that... Okay, but that is... What is that in... Oh, God! In uh, Fahrenheit. Because that's Celsius, so that's going to be like... Negative 14 is like just under... I want to say it's maybe like, like 15 degrees here. Or 20 degrees. 6.8 degrees. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty freaking cold. That's on beyond freezing. I kind of like the Celsius system because it, to me it makes more sense. I don't know why we don't just use it, but because we're American, we got to use Fahrenheit. Yeah, so freezing's at 32 degrees instead of it being at zero, which is where it makes sense. Like, oh yeah, it's freezing. Zero. <laughs> now we're delivering something to the campgrounds. That's fun. I think, I think, I think, I mean, I'm, I'm usually wrong about things, but I think that fair, that Celsius makes more sense because <laughs> then, you know, Kelvin's where it's at. <laughs> yeah, that is cold. Oh man, we still got, we had $42 of damage or cents. We made 5,000 cents. <laughs> It's the European. Whoa, parking brake. There is no parking brake. That's right. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what our garage is doing. 
We got $41,000. So really another trip or two and we'll be able to afford the big truck, but that's not going to happen in this episode. So if you've been watching on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I definitely had fun making it and it was fun hanging out with everybody and driving. Um, but uh, I do need to get going because the baby needs to wake up soon. She's been asleep for two and a half, three hours. So it's time to get her up. Uh, for those of you on streams, hang tight, but we'll see you guys later. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, voice up, and I'll see you next time on YouTube. Bye.